Welcome to my channel, Gender Swap Zone. My sister forced me to wear girly clothes. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of pink and gold, I found myself standing at the threshold of a new experience. My sister, Lucy, always the adventurous spirit, had concocted a plan that was equal parts thrilling and nerve-wracking. She had always been supportive of my desire to explore different facets of myself, and tonight, she was going to help me take a bold step forward. With a mischievous grin and a wardrobe full of possibilities, she declared, Tonight, I'm making you a girl. I couldn't help but laugh nervously. This wasn't the first time Lucy had suggested something wild, but this felt different, more personal. It wasn't just about clothes or makeup, it was about exploring a side of myself that I'd only recently begun to acknowledge. A side that was curious, feminine, and, if I were honest with myself, a bit scared. Lucy didn't wait for my response. She grabbed my hand, pulling me towards her room, which she had transformed into a makeshift dressing studio. Clothes were strewn across the bed, dresses, skirts, blouses, and accessories I had only ever seen her wear. The vanity was littered with makeup brushes, eyeshadow palettes, and lipsticks of every shade imaginable. Don't worry, Lucy said, sensing my hesitation. This is going to be fun, and who knows, you might just discover something new about yourself. Her words were both comforting and terrifying. I watched as she carefully selected a few pieces, holding them up against me, her eyes narrowing in concentration. Let's start with something simple, she said, handing me a soft floral sundress. Try this on. I took the dress from her, my hands trembling slightly. I hadn't expected to feel so nervous, but as I looked at the dress, a wave of emotion washed over me. It was beautiful, delicate, everything I felt I wasn't. But Lucy's encouragement gave me the strength to at least try. The fabric felt cool against my skin as I slipped it on, and as I adjusted the straps on my shoulders, I couldn't help but glance at the mirror. The reflection staring back at me was both familiar and strange. The dress fit me perfectly, accentuating my figure in ways I had never noticed before. For the first time, I saw myself in a different light, softer, more vulnerable, yet strangely powerful. Lucy beamed as she saw me. You look amazing, she exclaimed, spinning me around to admire the dress from every angle. But we're not done yet. Let's do your makeup. I sat down at the vanity, my heart pounding as Lucy began her work. She explained each step as she went along, brushing foundation onto my skin, carefully applying eyeshadow, and finishing with a swipe of lipstick. I watched in awe as she transformed my face, each stroke of the brush bringing me closer to the person I wanted to be, or at least the person I wanted to explore. As she worked, Lucy kept the conversation light, talking about everything from fashion tips to funny memories from our childhood. It helped ease the tension, making the experience feel more like a bonding moment than an experiment. But beneath the surface, I knew there was something deeper happening, something that neither of us could fully articulate. When she finally finished, Lucy stepped back, letting me take in the full transformation. I stood up slowly, turning to face the mirror, and what I saw took my breath away. The person staring back at me was both familiar and new. The makeup accentuated my features, giving me a softer, more feminine look. The dress flowed around me, making me feel graceful in a way I never had before. I couldn't believe it. Was this really me? Lucy watched my reaction closely, her smile fading into something more serious. How do you feel? She asked softly. I didn't know how to answer at first. A part of me wanted to laugh, to brush it off as just a bit of fun. But another part of me, the part that had been quietly waiting for this moment, felt something deeper. I... I feel good, I finally said, my voice barely above a whisper. I feel like, like I'm seeing a different side of myself. A side I didn't know was there. Lucy nodded, her eyes shining with pride. That's the whole point, she said. It's not about pretending to be someone else. It's about discovering who you really are. Her words hit me hard, and for a moment, I felt overwhelmed by emotion. But Lucy, ever the supportive sister, didn't push. She simply handed me a pair of heels and a few accessories to complete the look, and we spent the next hour experimenting with different outfits and styles. Each new outfit brought a new sense of confidence, a new layer of self-discovery. We laughed, posed for photos, and shared stories about our lives, both the parts we showed the world and the parts we kept hidden. With each passing moment, I felt a little more comfortable, a little more in tune with this side of myself that I had kept locked away for so long. The night passed in a blur of laughter, nerves, and moments of genuine connection.
As I stood in front of the mirror later, admiring the reflection that looked both familiar and new, I felt a surge of gratitude for my sister. She had not only helped me dress up but had also opened a door to a part of myself I had only just begun to understand. Lucy walked up behind me, wrapping her arms around my shoulders in a gentle hug. You're beautiful, she whispered, her voice filled with warmth, inside and out. I turned to her, my eyes glistening with unshed tears. Thank you, I said, my voice thick with emotion, for everything. We spent the rest of the night sitting together, sharing stories and memories, the weight of the evening's experience settling in. It had been an emotional roller coaster, but it had also been empowering. I realized that this was just the beginning. Embracing my feminine side had brought me closer to who I truly was, and with my sister by my side. I felt ready to continue this journey, one step at a time. As the night drew to a close, I changed back into my regular clothes, but the feeling of empowerment didn't fade. I knew that the person I had seen in the mirror wasn't going away. She was a part of me, and I was determined to embrace her fully. As Lucy and I hugged goodnight, I couldn't help but feel a sense of peace. This evening had been more than just a playful experiment, it had been a journey of self-discovery, acceptance, and transformation. And as I drifted off to sleep that night, I knew that this was only the beginning of something beautiful. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and found the content valuable, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all our latest content and be part of our growing community. We appreciate your support and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned and take care.